Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and today we're taking a look at Airfield. Originally, this map caused me a lot of problems, but I've grown to actually appreciate it. I think the map offers a lot of opportunities for creative play. It can be a very exciting play. A lot of the times, if you're camping on this map, you're doing it wrong. There are just so many opportunities. Right now, I'm in the middle. And I am doing some early scouting, and I see an IS-8 in the enemy base. I'm in the T-54. Because of all of the ridges and hills and columns, pillars, destructible environments, the T-54 is very well suited to this map because there's lots of opportunities for hull down play. A lot of people focus on moving towards the enemy, so in a very east and west type of fashion. After all, the caps are located on the east and west, right? The enemy is located to the west of me. But you're going to have more success moving in a north-south fashion rather than an east-west fashion. Any of these lanes you can push, but the problem is when you push them, for example, I could just go into that canyon and pop into the G2, G3 area right near their cap, but the problem is I would be immediately flanked from people on the E and F line who would just turn around, shoot me, and then go about their lives. Here there's an IS-3 that is extended a little bit too far, and I'm able to put some shots into him. That's where my success is going to lie, when I'm looking to the north and south rather than directly to the east or west. Don't try to push across the map. Try to push up and down the map. And similar to port, you just kind of cheese grater your way. Slice a little bit each time into it. The map of Airfield really rewards situational awareness. There will be enemies that pop up here and there, but not again, because there's a lot of bushes and cover. So you have to kind of form a mental map or get a mini-map mod which shows the last known location of enemies, and then plan your actions accordingly. When I didn't see enemies to shoot in the middle, I didn't move westward, I moved north to try to find some different angles to shoot people. There are so many angles to shoot on this map and it's only limited by your creativity. There are a ton of ledges to move up and down from. Right now there's a scent that bounced off my turret that I'm kind of wary of on that ledge. He has a lot of different firing angles and if I move westward, that guy in particular is going to make quick work of me. Our team quickly falls into an O5 hole, but this map more so than other maps, it's very easy to come back from something like that because of all of the ledges and all of the hills and corners you can bleed your opponents around and they will find it difficult to mount an offense because again they're going to move in a very east-west fashion where you should be picking on a north-south. I really can't stress that enough. Look north-south on this map not east and west. So after picking off the KV-3, I'm still wary of the scent on the ledge, uh, keeping an eye on him, hoping he pops out, but he's been very smart, and he's been waiting until my attention has been elsewhere. So I'm going to actually relocate into the middle, trying to get different shots or angles on him, and try to see if I can get some more shots on the IS-8 in town. As I'm doing this, a T-54 comes around, and he got impatient. Again, he's moving in an east-west fashion, and we're going to show just how easy it is to clean up people that make this mistake. So an IS-6 is following him, and it looks like I'm in a rough spot. I do have some cover from the dead tank in front of me. I am able to play slightly hauled down due to the ledge in front, but it does not change the fact that there's a T-54 and an IS-6 right here. However, you can see the M103, he's my platoon mate, and he is easily having flank shots at these two enemies. So after eliminating the IS-6, uh, now the T-54 is very, very alone, and he's going to get swept up evening everything at roughly 4 and 6. Coming back from a 0-5 hole to a 4 and 6 is not bad. 
Looking at the mini-map, you'll notice that my team has basically fallen back. It's very easy on this map to fall back to the next hill, the next ridge, the next valley. Bleed the enemy team as they come around the next corner. Some guy exposes himself, three tanks shoot him, and you fall back. Uh, it's very natural to do on this map. Now we're at 5-6 and we have to fight just a little bit more to get some superiority. How do we do that? Again, I'm moving north. Move north, move south. Don't make any big incursions. That's going to lead to disaster just like the T-54 and IS-6 showed. So the scent is still on that ridge. There are TDs probably in the D2 and E2 square, but you'll notice there's a lot of team within this little uh, E and D line. So I'm moving up with the E75, trying to produce some overwhelming force in that area. I get slightly distracted by an IS-8 just kind of sitting in the open, so I'm firing at him. There are a bunch of enemies that have taken to the B line. They have three or four guys up there. That's too much. They have nowhere to go. They can't move east or west, north or south and those guys are quickly scouted and taken out. In general, try not to go to areas where you're fully committed and you have absolutely no escape. The enemy is going to circle you at some point or artillery is going to get you at some point and there's very little you can do about it. Uh, the worst case scenario is someone is just going to YOLO into you and suicide. I'm not moving west because I know there's a TD in roughly D2 that I can spot, as well as the Scent and M103 going to have flank shots, so I move into the middle. However, I notice the M103 suicided into the E75. That actually changes the picture, because now we can mount an effective push through the D and E lines, rather than trying on some flank opportunity which may or may not fail. In general, you want to stay with your team to have more force in a concentrated area. Now when it's a simple numbers game is when you want to move west, but I'm still not that excited about it. Uh, I can move forward now because I can trade hit points and the Scent 7-1 on the ledge is going to die before I do, so that's why I'm moving up here, and I'm trying to get to this ledge before a TD in D2 finds me. However, the Scent has been taken out by a tortoise who turned his guns north from the south. Solid play by him, solid situational awareness. Airfield. It's a map with a lot of opportunity. First look north, then look south. If nobody's there, Move east or west a little bit, then repeat. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.